So, at about midday today, on October 28, 2021, a launch ceremony was held for the Mark W. Barker at Fincantary Bay Shipbuilding. The 639-foot Mark W. Barker will be a river-class self-unloading bulk carrier and will be the first ship built in the U.S. for the Great Lakes since 1981. The vessel will be able to carry up to 20,000 tons of bulk cargo and will transport salt, iron ore, and stone on the Great Lakes. Bay Ship General Manager Todd Thace says that there is more work to be done in the vessel before it will go into service. Some interior work on the vessel needs to be completed, like the accommodations, mechanical, and engineering system on the vessel. Also, there will need to be some testing before the vessel will go into service. After Thace finished his speech and thanked everyone who was involved in the ship's planning and production, the Interlake chairman, James R. Barker, told stories about the ship's planning. After that was done, Anthony Birdsall conducted the invocation prayer. And then, the champagne bottle was smashed on the side of the hull by Helen Sharp, and the vessel was introduced to the Great Lakes. After that, many vessels sounded their master salute to congratulate the Mark W. Barker. Then, when all the vessels were done sounding their salutes, the attendants of the launch ceremony gathered to watch the dry dock filled with water so that the Mark W. Barker could be moved by tugboats to its new slip for the remainder of the work on it to continue. It is estimated that the Mark W. Barker will enter service in the late spring or early summer of 2022. Mark Barker, the Interlake Steamship Company president, said that people have asked a lot, why is it so short? Our biggest ship is over 1,000 feet long. The ship is only 640. That's to meet some unique harbors and docks that we need to go into. In other words, the fact that this vessel is so short means that it can fit into small and tight places in different harbors. He also says that we operate in fresh water, so our ships are long-lasting and long-lived. We've done an immense amount of work to repower and bring our boats up to modern standards, the ones that are pre-existing. We do maintenance here every year to renew steel and upgrade systems so that they last a long time. So, the vessel is obviously a big accomplishment for the Interlake Steamship Company and the Great Lakes in general. The vessel is said to be christened in June of 2022 in Ohio. So, uh, thanks for watching this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.